On the North Shore, a spike in shooting, some of them deadly, has community leaders and the Bogalusa Police Department trying to figure out how to stop the senseless violence. As Mike McDaniel explains, it's a daily battle for officers leaving lasting impacts. Most of the bullet holes are covered up, except the one in the window outside the Bogalusa apartment where 21-year-old Typolia Peters Jr. was killed August 8th, leaving behind two unborn children. My world just shattered right now. Typolia Peters Sr. buried his oldest son over the weekend and says every day since his death has been hell. Every morning I got two pictures in my face of my son. As when he was laying in that hospital bed with the tube in his mouth, lifeless. And we laying in a casket, lifeless. Peters' death is one of the recent violent crimes Bogalusa police say the city is seeing a spike in. Another deadly shooting happened Monday afternoon. Police say 18-year-old Bogalusa High School senior Aaron Brown was gunned down after getting off a school bus. What we have now is a car pulled up, and I, I don't know if it was from the car or if they got out of the car, and uh, he was shot multiple times. Major Wendell O'Berry says these deadly shootings come as the department deals with non-deadly shootings daily, often during the day, mostly involving 16 to 20-year-olds, and all of it senseless. Every time I come to work and you know, I go over reports and everything, I expect to see uh, shootings from the night before. It's common, too common. So far this year, Major O'Berry says there have been five homicides in Bogalusa. The two recent ones are unsolved, but O'Berry says they shouldn't be. He says fear and mistrust prevent people from coming forward. But the public has to trust us. We're not your enemy. We want to stop it. We want to have a better community, but we can't have that if people just ignore it. We're going to take this city back. To help build trust, Tuesday, the department teamed up with community leaders like Rhonda Arende with the Washington Parish NAACP, taking a message to kids at Bogalusa High School. We got to get it under control. It hurts me to my soul because I'm a mother myself. And we have to teach these children that violence is not the way. What this violence is, is, is stupid. It's over nothing. Nothing you know that turns into devastating realities for families. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. And the Bogalusa Police Department has an anonymous tip line for folks to call in with information. That number, 985-732-6238.